Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, take it away. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing-to-lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. And opening day is here. So what are these players right now, Greg, feeling as they tip off this brand-new season? Mostly excitement. I mean, this is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Nance. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's McCollum in at the one. And for Los Angeles, Walker is out on the wing with LeBron. Anthony Davis is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. And it's Russell in at the point. Now here's Richardson. McCollum outside. Nance dishes to Ingram. Shot clock at five. Misses the wing jail. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Now LeBron to the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Boy, it's no secret that LeBron James is an outstanding passer. Boy, I love his vision in the pick and roll. Ingram outside. Back to McCollum. Kicks it to Ingram. Pass to Richardson. There's three pointers off the mark. Last outing for the Pelicans. It was a loss to the Magic. Outside, Russell. From deep. The Lakers rebound. Kicks it out to James. Misses the three. LeBron against Ingram. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Yeah, you know, LeBron is already top 10 in career assist, okay? And he's also continuing to rack up the dimes and climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. What's up? Jared Vanderbilt. One shot. Oftentimes, Clark, with Jared Vanderbilt, his impact isn't reflected in the box score. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Kevin. He puts up solid rebounding numbers, but I think it's his defense, which is his greatest attribute. He's a lockdown defender, and he's a high-energy hustle guy who plays with a lot of edge and tenacity, and that has value on just about any team. The feed now to Ingram. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. No good from Valanciunas. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. And it's slammed in by Davis. Well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Richardson outside. Back to McCollum. And here's Valanciunas. Ingram outside. There's the pass to Richardson. Will it go? The shot's good. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Ooh, man, this thing was turning into a soccer game. A lot of action and not many points. Here's LeBron following the score by Josh Richardson. Comes up empty down low. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Ingram, and slam dunk by Ingram. Virtually unfair. Actually, I'd say it is unfair for a six foot nine guy like Ingram to handle the pumpkin like that. Mm. Now, here is Russell. Now, here's Davis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Richardson kicks to McCullough. Ingram wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCullough. 
Ingram's got five points so far. Since being traded in 2019, Brandon Ingram has really increased his three-point attempt. His percentages have gone up, too. Now, here's James. No points in the game yet for him. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Richardson finds Nance. Tries from 16. Ingram against LeBron. Five to shoot. Richardson outside. And again, New Orleans yeah, with the triple. Richardson. Boy, good ball move with that really? time. Allows Richardson to get the good look on the jumper he wants. The pass was right where it needed to be. Also looking it over. Fires for three. They grab their own miss. And Davis puts it in. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Richardson outside. Back to McCollum. Here's Valanciunas. Eight points his last outing. The 17-footer. Again, the Pelicans See, score. Hey, what a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Outside, Walker. Back to Russell. Here's Davis, and he finishes nicely on the way. Davis has got his third basket of the night. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Vanderbilt. And the dunk by yeah, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Well, to make it plain, LeBron just makes everybody oh, around him better. Ball. Really takes a lot of pride in setting his guys up. Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevancy. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. And they were in the top ten and still. It was one of those things we always heard about last season. Get a little sloppy with the ball, and they will make you pay. And what really jumps out is their ranking. And second chance points. They did some major work on the glass. Greg, those points really added up over the course of last season. Now here's Ingram. He's got five. Nance, right side. Richardson outside. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Mark, as you recall, the Lakers had missed the playoffs the last few years, leading up to LeBron James actually joining them. And you know what, Kevin? They missed it in year one of the King in L.A. as well. Some of that due to injury, but nonetheless, not part of the playoffs. Despite the bubble title, it's been a challenge for LeBron during his time with the Lakers. Last year, extremely frustrating. And I'm sure they want this season to be different. Here's Walker. Larry Nance making his last shot. Outside, Walker. A three ball. 
Here's Vanderbilt. It's good. Yeah. Vanderbilt's got nine. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now here's McCollum. New Orleans moving the ball around. Pass to Richardson. Nance dishes to Richardson. And guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young core. And with the eight pick and Dyson Daniels that the Bills added to their bevy of young wing defenders, they're building a team to contend. That's good from Richardson. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year as we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. You know, at this point of his career, Richardson knows his role, understands it, embraces it. He's a 3 and D guy that gives you great effort at both ends of the court. And beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Richardson against Beasley. Over to the left wing. And the basket by Alvarado. And the Pelicans lead by one. Yeah, Josh Richardson is just not a scorer and defender, folks. He can pass it, too. Schroeder with the ball. Playing Dallas, he was nearly unstoppable. Bomba wide open, and he fires. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. New Orleans has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Alvarado passes to Jones. Al Richardson fires the three, and Bamba pulls it down. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. To the inside. Schroeder finds James. Back to Schroeder. No one near him. The offensive rebound. Puts up a three. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Down low. Here's Alvarado. And he makes good on the way. And now it's a three-point Pelican lead. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. LeBron against Jones. LeBron, good. And, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. The foul trouble was a big chunk of it. I mean, it's hard to mount a comeback when all your key guys, your main players, are watching from the bench. Yeah, for the Lakers. Lakers and here's a look at the stats for Dennis Schroeder. How he performed last season. Averaged about 13 points a game last season. Four assists and three rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense. Knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Now well, here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Richardson. 
That shot missing. Excellent D there from Beasley. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. It's Beasley on the wing. Richardson cover. Here's Alvarado. He has five. Feeds it to Richardson. It's stolen by Hachimura. Here's Beasley. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. And the Lakers lead by one. Boy, such a dangerous threat in transition. I mean, once Beasley gets a step on the defense, goodbye. Hernan Gomez. Goes back up. A rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Beasley for three. Again, the miss by Beasley. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Tries again. Alvarado doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Lakers take it the other way. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And foul on the oh, shot. He'll ball shoot ball. two at the free throw line. Richardson. And when That's you think first about first veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, still team. such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change Dennis gears and play at different speeds. At Very impressive. At his best when he's putting blinding speed to use. He doesn't always unleash it, but when Take he does, it's very effective. Two shots. That's good from Schroeder. Boy, the shifty, quick footed Schroeder is a um, great weapon to have. Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's a very effective player. hits them both and that's another area where he is just a superb player excellent at the free throw line some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum they get the rebound shots good by Hernan Ooh. Gomez well you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does he's gonna make you pay now Schroeder has the Bamba Back to Schroeder. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Richardson. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And let's not forget how terrific they've been on the offensive glass, throwing themselves on that backboard and being rewarded with additional points. McCollum's checked in for the Pelicans. Hits them both. 124 left to play here in the first. Outside, Jones. Now the pass to Alvarado. Now, Hernan Gomez. And Bamba pulls it down. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. And, you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide-open teammate. Jones, the best to Hernan Gomez. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Jones finds Hernan Gomez, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And I like the decision-making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. And the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in, and a change for the Pelicans. Murphy's checked in. Now here's Hayes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. 
outside Jones Reeves with the rebound Lakers leading by three he kicks it to Schroeder Hachimura down low over Murphy second chance shot and it's blocked it's been all about Jerry Vanderbilt for the Lakers. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. quarter fairly close game so far and from what we've seen so far from the Lakers guys what are your thoughts just cashing in on second chance opportunities that's how they built this early lead Boy, grinding it out on the glass they've really been working for those points and you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing now oh it's way more common now and, and let's face it it's a copycat league all the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. They've got Jonas Valanciunas. Ingram is out there with McCollum. And it's Nance. And it's Murphy in at the three. Now here's Ingram. He's coming off a 25-point game against Orlando. Murphy for real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. LeBron against Murphy. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. From downtown. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge. And in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Here's McCollum after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. Kicks it to Murphy. Pass to Ingram. Just five on the clock. That's good for his third Brandon bucket. Now three for six from the field. Brandon Ingram, very confident in his mid-range, Jay. He knows he can shoot from just about anywhere and get his shot whenever he wants to. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. Let me thank you for your report. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a five-point game. Outside, Davis. That three off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Nance, outside. Passes to Ingram. Over Russell. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram's got nine. And the stroke of Ingram, boy, just looks so pure coming off his hand. And here is LeBron. Last game, 26 points, and they call an illegal screen here. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. The Lakers in fifth. I mean, this is such a tough team to deal with. You see the numbers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity. Pass to Nance. McCollum feeling it out a bit. That one, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. James with the bucket. He's got six. They settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Now here's McCollum. 
His last outing, he had 18 points. Over Russell. McCollum, no good. Lakers leading by five. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. They've been doing a lot of things right in this game, but something they have to move on is their ball security. Walker's checked in for Los Angeles. Richardson, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Ingram outside. McCollum against Russell. The pass to Richardson. Back to McCollum. Clock at six. 13 feet away. Rebound the Lakers. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Well, Davis is one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA. Showing you great effort that time. I'm out called here with the Pelicans decide to talk it over. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Valanciunas passes to Ingram. And he gets it back. Brandon Ingram is slim of... but showing you some muscle there, fighting for a second chance shot. Lakers leading by five. James finds Walker. Outside, Russell. Pass to Hachimura. Lakers working the ball around now. Now Walker. Three-pointer. James, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. James has got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. Getting ideal positioning and using it to capitalize on the offensive glass, that's evidence of the strength that LeBron James has. LeBron Agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Pelicans trail by nine. Ingram passes to McCollum. Richardson outside. And here's Valanciunas, guarded by Davis. To the paint, here's McCollum. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Passes it to Davis. Back to Russell. From deep. Second shot opportunity, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on, this is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. Give away. Let's hear you get loud.
boys and girls dance team. Let's go! What's up? You know, with that combination of strength and length, Davis can easily overwhelm defenders and get himself to the foul line. Richardson outside. McCollum finds Valanciunas. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. violation. Last season, of course, Marcus Richard Smart from the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? It's tough, Kev. I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. Now Ingram, after D'Angelo Russell's three-pointer that didn't go. Now here's McCollum. No dice from the high post. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Now here is Davis. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Here's Vanderbilt. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Here's McCollum. Hands in the post. Vanderbilt defending. Richardson, no luck. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Russell from long range. Knocks down the three ball. Russell's got five points now in the quarter. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Yeah, they certainly have been. You'd like to knock down that first one, but if you don't, then the second shot is the next best thing. Now here's Ingram. He's got 11. Back to Richardson. Six to shoot. Shoots over Walker. That one wide left. Lakers leading by 15. Loads it up for Davis. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Inside, here's Nance, and the jam by Larry Nance. Junior. Offensively, McCollum sees the floor well. Not surprised to see him spot the open teammate. And Walker kicks to Russell. Nance against Vanderbilt. Davis dishes to Walker. Shot clock at six. Back to Davis. Over Valanciunas. Offensive rebound, Walker. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Outside, Walker. Fires from deep. Ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain position. And Los Angeles with some changes. Muhammad Bamba comes in for Anthony Davis. And it's Beasley in for Walker. with the three. Another shot. LeBron, good. LeBron LeBron's got 12 in the game. And, and nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just burrows his way inside and takes advantage. Now here's Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Richardson. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Russell high post. Alan Junis is there. Jacks up a three. LeBron, no luck. Pelicans trail by 15. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Kicks it out to Jones. Rebound the Lakers. 
And here we go. Fast break. LeBron's got it. Up and in on the way. 14 points for him. He's done a nice job, a great job, actually, of finding efficient shots here in the second. Shooting percentage always a function of the kinds of shots you get. And he's on a good roll after struggling a bit in the first. Here's Alvarado. He's with it. Pass to Alvarado. Five on the clock. Shot from 12. Second chance effort. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the trip. And, and trailing in this game now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Reeves is checked in. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell. And the Pelicans also making a change. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Lakers leading by 14. Schroeder kicks to Beasley. One thirty-two left now here in the second. 20 feet out. Again, Los Angeles. Well, Beasley's role is just this. He's a known scorer who can do it in a variety of ways. On the wing, Jones. Richardson outside. Back to Jones. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Richardson against Beasley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And one thing about Beasley, he can get you buckets in a hurry. Well, you know, last year, Greg, he broke Minnesota's record for most threes in a game. When he's hot, well, he can light it up. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Uh, yeah, up, up until last season, only about half of his temps were from beyond the arc. Now he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon. Both good from the line that time. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. On the wing, Jones. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And there's the pass to Hernan Gomez. Pass to Alvarado. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Bamba's got six rebounds in the game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Alvarado. Reeves with the rebound. Lakers leading by 16. From the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Reeves has got six in the quarter. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. It is Bedlam here. The hometown crowd loving that first half. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, six assists, and six rebounds. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? And the game plan they went with was very clear. It was centered around scoring inside. 
pound that ball inside, pound it in a pitch, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the score. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. To be honest, them getting killed on the glasses like this is a little embarrassing. Showing no physicality and lack of fun. This is when fans start to feel it. Yeah, me too. The team doesn't seem to care as much as they do. They don't care, I don't care. I'm out of here. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And as we dive into the second,